I will give each of you three choices to build a kooky concoction. Hey Kids Planet, it's me, Hannah. I'm trying to decide what sounds like a good thing for me to make for lunch today. I'm not that hungry yet though, so maybe I'll wait for my friends to get here so we can decide together. I've been having such a fun time these past few weeks, and I'm really looking forward to the next week because we'll all be away at camp together. <laughs> this really is going to be the best summer ever. Hey guys! Oh wow, looks like you guys got your hands full. Come inside. So Hannah, what are you up to today? Well, I was trying to decide what to eat for lunch, but since y'all are coming over, I thought we could decide together. Actually, I might be able to help with that. All right, here's how the game shall work. I will give each of you three choices to build a kooky concoction. And you will take a bite to try to guess the ingredients. Um, are you guys sure about this? I'm hungry, so I'm ready for anything. Vince, there's nothing too weird. Of course not. All right, Daniela, we're going to start with you. Your options are number one, number two, or number three. Um, three, I guess. Interesting choice. Moving on. All right, Colton, we'll go with you next. Your options are number one, numero dos, or number three. Numero dos, por favor. Pardon me? I choose number two. All right, if you say so. What was that noise? Only time will tell. All right, Missy, it's up to you now. Will you choose number one, number two, or number three? Um, I think I choose number one. Excellent. All right, bon appetit. Now remember, the first one to guess the ingredients is the winner. Ugh, I think I just lost my appetite. Vince, I said nothing weird. You know, I brought some stuff we can do instead of all of this. You just became my new favorite person. Hey Daniela, thanks for bringing this friendship bracelet stuff. It's really awesome. Of course, I saw the idea on your summer bucket list and I thought it would be a fun thing for us to all do together. We should make one for Faith, Christian, and Jonathan since they couldn't be here today. Yeah. Hey Hannah, what were you thinking for the Bible story this week? Well, since we've been talking about choices lately, I thought we could talk about Esther's story. She had a very important choice to make that saved a lot of people. Her choice was literally life and death. It was up to Esther to save a lot of Jewish people, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And King Xerxes actually picked her to be his wife. And Esther's cousin, Mordecai, who practically raised her as his own daughter, worked at the palace too. Yeah. And even though Mordecai and Esther were Jewish, Mordecai told Esther not to let anyone know about her because if they knew, it could be dangerous. Mordecai knew that there are people who didn't like Jewish people very much. One of those people was Haman, the right-hand man to the king. There was even one time where Mordecai made Haman so angry because Mordecai refused to bow down to him. Here, let me read that verse. When Haman saw that Mordecai would not bow down or show him respect, he was filled with rage. 
He had learned of Mordecai's nationality, so he decided it was not enough to lay hands on Mordecai alone. Instead, he looked for a way to destroy all the Jews throughout the entire empire of Xerxes. So when Haman found out that Mordecai was Jewish, he decided to make a request to the king. Haman wanted to destroy all the Jewish people, not just Mordecai now. Yeah, listen to this. Then Haman approached King Xerxes and said, There is a certain race of people scattered through all the provinces of your empire who kept themselves separate from everyone else. Their laws are different from those of any other people, and they refuse to obey the laws of the king. So it is not in the king's interest to let them live. And the king agreed, right? Yeah, he did. And when Mordecai heard about this, he knew that only Esther could save all the Jewish people. Haman had gotten the king to agree to kill all the Jewish people, all because he was upset with Mordecai. But neither Haman or the king knew that Esther was actually Jewish too. So Esther had to choose to do the right thing, even though there was a chance that the king could kill her. She was not allowed to see the king unless he would ask for her, so she needed to break that rule in order to speak with him. Oh, that's right. There was even a law if you went before the king and he didn't want to see you, they would kill you. And that's actually what Esther said to Mordecai. See, in Esther 4.11 it says, All the king's officials and even the people of the provinces know that anyone who appears before the king in his inner core without being invited is doomed to die, unless the king holds out his gold scepter, and the king has not called for me to come to him for 30 days. But then Mordecai convinced her with what he said, right? Yeah, that's right, Vince. In verse 14, he says, If you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and relief for the Jews will arise from some other place. But you and your relatives will die. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this. And it worked, didn't it? The king held out his scepter and allowed Esther to live. Yep. The king asked Esther what she wanted, and he even said he would do anything he could to make her happy. Esther was nervous to tell the king the truth at first, but eventually she told the king about how Haman had made a plan to kill all the Jewish people, including her. Yeah, and the king was furious. Not at Esther, but at Haman. The king had Haman killed and agreed to save Esther, Mordecai, and the Jewish people. Esther was able to save so many people by choosing to do the right thing. Hey, wasn't choose to do the right thing one of our lessons at X Camp this year? That's right, it was, when we learned about Daniel. This is such an important thing to remember. The Bible has many, many stories that teach us how important it is to choose to do the right thing. Even when it's hard. Or scary. Even when our friends want us to do the wrong thing. Those are all great points. Esther could have chosen not to say anything and she probably would have been fine, but so many people would have died if she made that choice. That makes me think of Proverbs 21.3 which says, the Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than when we offer him sacrifices. Good one. When we choose to do the right thing, that makes God very happy. Wow, that's a great reminder. You're a genius, bro. Hey, Colton, we still haven't seen what's in the bag you brought. That's right. I'll be right back. Yeah! Oh no, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. What am I gonna do? You could try telling her the truth. Uh, do you think she'll be upset at me? I think she'll be less upset if you're honest with her instead of trying to cover this up. Yeah, you're probably right. Hannah, can you come here? You're doing the right thing. What's up? Colton, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just really sorry I broke this. No, it's okay. You didn't break it on purpose, did you? No, but if I haven't been goofing off, I wouldn't have slipped into the table. Well, the important thing is that you're okay and you chose to do the right thing, even though I bet it was scary to tell me. Yeah, just a little. I just didn't want you to be upset. Well, it was just a mistake. I'll let the owners of the house know. It will be okay. Okay. I feel a lot better. It's because you did the right thing. Now, what was in that bag of surprises you brought? Oh, that's right. 
They're right here. So, what's the surprise, Colton? Well, since our last series stories was so much fun to watch, and there's cool places and cool costumes, I thought we could have another way to dress up. That would be fun. Yeah, let me see. I am the king. Why are you here? Sir, it is I, Esther. I have come to share something super- Silence! <laughs> this was awesome, Colton. These costumes are amazing. I have a great idea. What about we do TikToks in the costumes? You're a genius! Fine, just don't make me dance. My money don't trickle, trickle. It falls. I like to see you wiggle, wiggle, for sure. Oh no! No! <laughs> My toe got caught. Thank you guys for coming over these past few weeks. I would have been so bored without you guys. Hey, how much stuff did we get crossed off that summer bucket list? Oh, let's see. You were able to get so much checked off. Hey, we could even try to do a few of these things with our very own families. That's a great idea, Vince. Cammie would love this one. I know you guys already did this, but my mom would think that's a great idea. Agreed. Hey guys, I am so excited you guys get to come to camp with me next week. Me too!